What is safe mode? So safe mode is when your computer goes wrong and it can't boot up properly, it goes into this logistical mode called safe mode, which is intended to fix the computer. Um, and at some point, this occurred to me as being quite an apposite metaphor for a novel in the safe mode as a diagnostic tool is encased within the, um, the operating system of the whole computer, but it's also completely separate from it. So this seemed like a nice analogy of um, a novel within a life. Right. What is an ambient novel? Um, the American writer Tan Lin coins the term ambient novel um, and I take it to mean a novel that doesn't really follow the um, traditional temporal logic. Um, instead it's more interested in exploring atmosphere um, and space. So. Uh, that's another way of saying that nothing really happens. So is this a novel with a narrator or something else? Um, there is a first person character in the novel and there's also a third person narrator. Um, I'm more interested in them as uh, channels rather than distinct entities and the relationship between them is, is not very clear. Um, I think maybe first and third person narrators are, are one of the binaries that the, the, the text is attempting to disturb. Poetry or prose, and what's the difference anyway? I think for me the more interesting distinction would not be between poetry and prose but between poetry and fiction in that prose can obviously be poetry. Um, but fiction seems to be a, a genre with its own legality and its own um, demands that make it on some level seemingly incompatible with poetry, like fiction uh, is compelled to not represent reality, that's like the agreement that we enter into when we read a work of fiction. Um, so again, this is a, a, a contradiction between two, um, two modes, uh, poetry and fiction, which uh, the, um, the text is, is seeking to um, complicate. What's the story behind the images? I found a set of 36 photographs about 15 years ago in Christchurch, New Zealand, um, which are an assortment of images. They're not all from one reel of film. They're obviously pre-digital. Um, there were photos that were never picked up. Um, and I've had them for so long that they've started to have some kind of talismanic quality for me um, in a way that they're not personal at all I don't know any of the people in the photographs but in a way they seem to me to be personal at the same time um, so these images are, uh, are used in the novel again as a way to um, to, ex to explore what can be personal are there any rules at play here? Any clues? There is a set of quite strict procedural devices that I used to create the text. Um, yes. How should we approach the book's alternative forms? Um, yeah, so the book has a variety of alternatives within it. These can be speakers, tenses, the places that you start the narrative. Um, I think that will become clear when the book is in your hands. What does Safe Mode have to tell us about the forms and content of digital media? I think we read so much. Um, if your work involves being at a computer, um, you're, or just using your phone, you're, you're constantly reading and it feels like this type of reading is thought of as being as distinct from the sort of reading you do when you're reading a work of fiction or poetry. So um, part of what I'm interested in is including material that might seem to be from uh, these more um, uh, compressed modalities of reading or these more um, 
uh, less immersed types of reading, such as you might uh, find online reading a news article or a, or a think piece. Um, but to situate these in uh, within a work of, um, of poetry or fiction, um, so to sort of experiment with with different uh, modes of reading. Um, this has to do with attention span, I think. Uh, um, in that we're, we're quite used to yeah, compressing or focusing our attention spans for certain periods depending on the type of um, channel that we're encountering a text in. So by um, placing them within a novelistic context, I'm, I'm sort of seeking to uncover or uh, to, to sort of more deeply examine um, what the effects of these sorts of readings are. Do we need that? No. Shall I ask you again? Yeah, ask me again. Yeah. Poetry or prose, and what's the difference oh, anyway? Can you pass it? Sorry. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, can I have this jug? Yeah, yeah. <coughs> Continuity, Aaron. Yeah, yeah. <laughs>